Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and today I'm doing paid reviews because I don't do shit for free, fuckers! No freebies here! And uh, I've got an email in from Gerard. He wants to remain anonymous, so we'll just use his first name. Hey AC3, I discovered your channel six months ago and I've been hooked ever since. You are hilarious and make me laugh every day. I would love for you to review my collection, some nice pieces and some absolute shitters. SHITTERS! Enough with those vile, nasty, miserable cunters out there wearing their digital and Apple watches. What would be your pick for my next not shitter piece under 5,000? Rolex Omega. I prefer to buy you so that I don't get royally raped. Why does everyone need virgin watches? Jeez. Enclosed is 25 US dollars for a collection review. An extra five bucks for your future bangers fund. I've also enclosed pictures of my collection. For your video, I'd like to remain anonymous. Well, wow, thank you so much. Now, I'm just going to move my camera over. We're just going to move the camera over. So, uh, just just bear with me, fuckers. I'm, I'm going to put this up so that I can, I can review his collection. So, here we go, fuckers. Here we go, indeed. Okay, having a look at his collection here. This is Gerard's collection. So, um... Uh, Let's have a look here. He's got a few pieces here, and uh, normally Archibald would say these are absolute shitters, but hang on a minute. This is the new Archie Luxury, the new Paul Pluter, and I'm embracing all watches. So he's got a BMW Motorsport Ice Watch. Yep, that's a great fashion watch. It's, 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 it's not a quality piece. It's just a you know fashion watch. That's it's okay. Another ice in white. Yep, cool. He's got a Boulevard. Well, you know, the Boulevards are, they're okay, they're okay. He's got a Cartier, he's got a Cartier Automatic, it's just on the tip of my tongue, what the fuck is, this is a Cartier de Cartier, I think it is. Uh, that's actually quite a cool looking piece, love it, love it to death there, that's, that's a nice piece, that wasn't cheap. You got a Croton, yep, yep, okay, you know, we, they, they, these are fashion watches, they're not high end, we're not talking high end. And he's got a few other shitters in there. That's okay. It's all cool. All cool. But he's got a nice, I can see the Tag Hoyer Formula One, which is, that's quite a new model. That's nice. And he's got a, an Omega. What is that? That's an Omega. It seems like a vintage, a vintage Seamaster, I think so. So he's asking the question, what does he get next? That's a good point. He's got, see, this is where watches, you start off, you buy the lesser brands, then you move up to more decent stuff. What would I buy for under 5,000? I tell you what I would buy. Now, people are going to criticize me because I, I say this, but the Rolex Explorer 2, that would have to be probably the best bang per buck sports Rolex at the moment. That's a great piece. And it's going to fit within your budget. If you're going to go Amiga, Amiga Speedmaster, man on the fucking moon, man on the fucking moon. That's where I'd be going. And these other watches you've got here, hey, it's nice to build a collection. You see, this is where it's going good. You're moving into more decent stuff. So there's nothing wrong with that. That's, you know, everyone needs a start. A lot of watches, a lot of fun. So uh, nothing wrong with that at all. I I would be adding a uh, personally. I'd I'd probably I'd probably go to the Explorer Two, get a second hand Explorer Two, the pre forty two mil one, the sixteen five seven zero. I reckon you can't go wrong at all. That's a really really good piece to add there. So uh, what do I think of the collection? Well, look, everything you need to start somewhere, and. Uh, 
that Cardi is not cheap. Cardi is not cheap. The the Omega's nice. The the Tag Formula Ones that's that's, that's an okay piece. There's some there's some you know you, you're having fun. That's all that matters in life is you have fun. So um, there's a Lamborghini watch. Jesus Christ, that's over the top. It's nice to have some fashion fashion shitters. That's okay. Fashion shitters. Nothing wrong with that at all. So uh, I think there's great scope there for five grand. Explorer 2, Rolex Explorer 2, that's the greatest bang per buck, but if you don't want to go Rolex, you want to go Omega, Omega Speedmaster, man on the fucking moon, that's where I'd be going, so uh, there you go, the Pontiff have spoken, I'm Archibald Chesterfield the third. tell me what you fuckers think of that, nice one Archie, glad to see you supported his hobby, don't hurt his feelings, and encourage him to be inclusive, see you later fuckers. We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we're doing the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get the pre-owned watch, it's like if you're getting a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.